Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the Bitcoin market. So you can see that, well, uh, in general, market has shown on Friday the same reaction as the other markets. Despite that pearls were relatively strong, we see some upward action. So uh, the second leg of retracement that we have discussed on Thursday hasn't happened. And market currently stubbornly stands around the resistance level, which potentially might be the bullish sign. At the same time, we are not clearly understand uh, why so positive mood stands in the Bitcoin market because overall background and external factors definitely it's not uh, are not supportive for Bitcoin rally and uh, some other news that have been released recently concerning the turning in cash the Ethereum by the Buterin. Um, so it also will put some shadow on the perspective at the same time well we will see but it's not currently difficult to understand why and, and explain uh, the bullishness on the market right now once then so stubborn aiming on upward continuation at the same time uh, by taking a look at the weekly chart uh, this doesn't make impact in general on a major picture so because if market even will reach the 30 even level as we explained, this is this will not become yet the breaking of the bearish tendency, because potentially here is might be head and shoulders pattern to form and market still could keep going lower. In this case, only the breaking it up and returning back to somewhere at 32 area could tell that indeed we could get significantly higher action in the case of the maybe larger A B C bottom pattern or action to the X O P of the same pattern that stands around 36. And that's actually what we need to. Uh, keep an eye on. Um, meantime, what we have on the daily chart, it's mostly tactical and make impact only on the daily performance without breaking yet the major tendency. Uh, so on the daily charts, take a look. Market still calling around the same resistance. So OP has been tested. We suggested that this might be some kind of the ABCD retracement to the downside. But market shows only minor pullback and starting, stand, standing flat around the confluence. This potentially bullish sign. Invalidation points for current bullish uh, performance is 26 lows right there the C point in the case of the breaking below C this pattern will be erased and it will mean that we just get ABCD retracement some kind of the guard list to to sell and that's it so we could speak about downside continuation until market stands above the C point it keeps bullish chances to keep going higher it means that's next tar target will be around 30 even which is the XOP so currently in the current environment, it's very difficult to say how the geopolitical situation will make impact on the market because, as you could see, for example, on 10 euro yield, we see that markets that stubbornly in around 4.8 level, it doesn't show big pullback. Currently, from the technical point of view, it is not grow growing just because it stands at overbought and the uh, market needs some time to just get out of this overbought condition from the technical point of view to keep going higher. On the euro currency, we see significant downside action right now. So dollar is rising. That's why in the current environment, well, it is possible, of course, to make the bet on the rising of the Bitcoin. But I just call you to be extra careful um, because technically picture, yes, it's a general stance positive, but what we get in reality, we will see. So for instance, on the fall time frame chart, we have the triangle, which is potentially also looks bullish. It's just because it stands near the resistance. And around the resistance as you can see on the daily chart so we have triangle right to the resistance usually when the market shows response to the resistance it it, it takes relatively fast uh, performance so but in the current situation it more looks like the consolidation consolidation around uh, the, the resistance and preparation for a possible upward breakout that's what we uh, getting right now so potentially it might be for example I don't know butterfly or something of that sort that could lead market right to the uh, third area for instance as we will just measure the potential extension so let's take a look 
2950. So almost 30 uh, even area in, in daily XOP if butterfly here will be formed with a possible upper direction. So this, if, if Bitcoin will be able to hold this sentiment and stance inside of the triangle, in this case, we could say that probably it might be. Um, on the hourly chart, let's also take a look. We initially talked about this ABCD patch, but market right now returns right back up, standing flat near the level. So this is also not quite bearish performance. And uh, in this circumstance, consider the downside action, well, um, it's also difficult. So um, from that standpoint, what uh, we could recommend. So uh, since geopolitics brings some uncertainty in current market performance, if you would like to, but the technicals stands on the bullish sign in the short term, it would be better to combine both things and try to take position as close to these lows as possible. Because if you intend to take position right now and you suggest that it might be the butterfly, as I said, it would be better to t take the long position somewhere near the support area or as lower to these previous lows as possible just to minimize risk because an validation point with a potential upside pattern will be right there at these lows. If market somehow break it down, it means that we are getting some kind of the downside ABCD pattern and maybe consequences will be even more important. Uh, that's why our task, uh, those of you who would like to buy Bitcoin, trying to do this as close to these lows as possible. That just minimize your risk. You could place relatively tight stops slightly below the confidence or even below this area if you're aiming on the butterfly itself. And, uh, well, it will tell you in an early moment that something goes wrong if market just will start breaking it. Um, if it will remain, if it will hold the, above these lows and stay in this range, well, everything is okay, so the bullish context will be valid and market will keep chances for upward uh, breakout. So that's what we have currently on the cryptocurrency.